Mm -hmm. Oh, Dead Man's Fingers. Oh, Dead Man's Fingers. Yeah, let's put some Dead Man Finger in there. Okay, and join us on this adventure of bum nuts and alcohol, and we are the High Proof Brothers. Oh yeah, that was that good. Was better. <laughs> <laughs> Salad. Uh, so what we've got on today's offering, we've got the Paul's Bailey's inspired eggnog. Mm -hmm. And we've also got a Bundaberg rum one, mm -hmm. which I am not looking forward to because of teenage youthful experiences. Oh yeah. Anyway. Okay, okay shall we uh, crack this one open? Oh yeah, no cork top. I mean, that's a, that's a no, minus point right no, there. Yeah. Plastic packaging. Mm. Cracks open, okay. Alrighty, here we go. We've got the fancy glasses for our uh, yeah, holiday and oh. Christmas season. <laughs> a nice decent dram there Ooh. for you. Okay, this is very milky. There's no real sort of... I don't know colour to it really, Colour to it? it or anything like that. So, hmm. I like when I say Bailey's inspired, is it just like powder? Like Bailey's powder or something like that? <laughs> inspired could mean so much. Like the Bailey's ethos inspired us to make more money and sell you stuff. I think it is because look, number one ingredient's milk, mm -hmm. then skim milk, sugar, okay. mm -hmm. milk solid. So there's no Bailey's there yet. No. This is just milk, 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 milk. Then it's got flavors, yeah. which must be the Bailey's. The Bailey's. Yeah. Then it's got whole egg powder. Oh. And then some colors, which there's not much colors in there. Mm. And a stabilizer on those yeah. ones. So. Okay. Egg powder. <laughs> so they just, so they just get the bum nuts from the chicken and then just like, to dry them out and like just grind them into a powder. <laughs> that's, like, so that's an interesting sort of a, a way they must have to do that. It must be like some sort of preservation thing so they can just keep it packaged. For yeah, 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 yeah. That'd definitely be it. See on the nose. Mm. Okay, that's a little yeah. bit. Okay, there's a little bit there. I get that hint in there. Yeah. The creaminess. Yeah. There's gonna, no alcohol punch or anything. But it's <laughs> <laughs> Inspired. It, it is inviting. Mm. Let's just see how it feels on the palate, shall mm. we? Mm. Bottoms up. It's good. It tastes nice. Mm. I'd drink that all day. Creamy, sweet. It's missing the alcohol punch. Yeah. Like I, I'm expecting to see the alcohol there mm -hmm. and it just mm. evaporates away. I can understand yeah. they're trying to probably target it for the kids as well out there so they can have their eggnog. Mm. But if I was like the uncle at the party, <laughs> 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 it's like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Which, uh, I, no surprise there. But it is um, mostly Australian ingredients, so 94% all Australian ingredients. Mm, all right, yeah, okay, okay. That was a good little bit of milk sludge there. Yeah, we should get the next holiday punch out and give it a go. Oh, good old Bundaberg, let's do it. All right, all the way from Queensland, Australia, we got some Bundy Rum Thumb Nut Nog. <laughs> I'm not gonna look at it. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's crack this one open. Have a little crackety crack. Mm. All right. Good old Bundaberg rum. So Bundaberg rum's been around for many years, but I believe Bean Lee rum actually holds the longest continuous running mm. rum distillery. Ooh, in I wonder if it's even older. The Aussie land. Uh, it looks even whiter, this one, isn't it? Yeah, it does. It looks almost a little lighter. In oh, hold on. Mm. Hold on, well, uh, ingredients, milk, skim milk, sugar, milk solid, so the same. Mm -hmm. Half a percent of rum. Ooh. So this has- It actually says rum. rum. Huh. In here. And then it says flavors. Maybe the rum's so low they don't count it as out, can have any alcohol, and they can mm. sell it in your, your, soup, your Woolies yeah. and Coles. There's just a, a wee bit of rum in this. All right, well, let's- I don't like it as much. Mm, no. The, the Bailey's one was much better. Bailey's dominates this one. Mm, absolutely. Like, yeah. With these two in the fridge, the Baileys makes this one its bitch twice over. Yep. I think the Baileys one is just, it's more what your palate is also going to be ready for, because you're already thinking of Baileys with mm. that cream flavors, with those sort of, you know, that sort of milky sort of a texture and that. Uh, Bundy rum is not really what you think to be using with milk. I think it's just a bit abrasive on that side as well for your mind to sort of get your head around. It makes it taste off. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. The addition of the Bundy rum. Off milk. Makes it taste like it's gone bad. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's... it tastes a little bad, yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't actually remind me too much of Bundy rum. So it goes off in like three days. And there's, there's two of us and there's two of these. So who gets to keep the Baileys is what I'm hearing. <laughs> I did, ah, oh, <laughs> shit. All right, let's. <laughs> I thought you were about to say best two out of three then. <laughs> no, I lost. Oh, but gosh. 
You know what I'm really thinking about now is, mm -hmm. can, can we can we make it any better? Yeah, bit of plantation right. mm -hmm. or dead man's fingers? Oh, dead man's fingers. Yeah, let's put some dead man finger in there. Oh <laughs> man. Yeah, I think now, dead man finger is the right choice. Do we do that with the Bailey's or do we do it with the? Yes. Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> so. Bundy Run, you go back in the fridge on the bottom shelf, like the red-headed stepchild you are. <laughs> We're never getting a sponsorship from Bundy Run ever. <laughs> that was a burn on three or four levels. It was a burn on Buttermilk Run, Stepkids, and Redheads all at the same time. Well, I didn't even think oh, about that this. was terrible. <laughs> Redheads. I'm pretty uh, sure there's like exactly zero redheads watching this thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> there's like zero people watching us. Oh, get in there. Phrasing. Glug, 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 glug. So I guess we just go with a little bit of... Yeah, um, just up to the line. Just up to the line or something like that. Splish splash. Maybe a little, little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm liking the colour. Oh, I'm liking the nose now. I'm getting that coffee coming through first. Ooh, yeah. And then the eggnog second. Yeah, that coffee. Is it okay? Mm. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like it. It's mm. nice, nice, bro. Yeah, yeah. Stick a dead man's finger in your bun nut alcohol rum nog. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And then you come up with a top-notch Aussie drink to take this bunch of red well. Let's name our own little mix here. Okay. And it could be nog finger. Dead man sludge. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Did we actually explained that before? We just were playing funny buggers. <laughs> so we shall we kind of cover yeah. that? Now, so a little, a little bit of uh, history uh, since you've watched this far. Uh, according to Wikipedia, historically known as milk punch or holiday sludge. So I feel like dead man sludge just sounds kind of cool. Yeah, definitely has my yeah. boat. I think we've learned something. Dead man's finger just seems to enhance a lot of stuff. Yeah. And we love it as well, so yeah. that's a good one. Um, check out our previous review episode of Dead Man's Fingers as well. It was a good little drop there. Okay, brother, anything else? No, that's pretty much it. You guys know what to do. Socials are down below. Give us a like. If you want to come back and see us, we uh, post every Friday. We had a legitimate comment on a video. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and they left 23 seconds after they figured out it wasn't our normal stuff. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it was a legit comment and we do, uh, yeah, do appreciate Thank you. it. And we've been the High Proof Brothers. That was good. Oh, that just ran up to the back of my throat and punched my tonsils. It is, it's almost like a, I think it's a, is it? No, they're classified as straw, isn't it? We're making pot. <laughs>